Hello everyone, welcome to Weary Traveling with Jesus. Today, September 29th, 2021, we enter the 29th day of the National Holy Bible Month with a theme of Jesus as a friend in our journey of life, which is the exact same theme of this channel. And we would also like to thank everyone who has supported Weary Traveling with Jesus. Today, Mr. John and Mrs. Helen from Solo will read a book from Catholic liturgical calendar and Jessica from Bali will read a same story. For from teaching, it's about love and honor read Bella Rocker from the OJCC Canberra, Australia. After from teaching part, let's re pray together with Pope Francis for the recovery of the world from the COVID-19 virus. Happy listening! Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Weary Traveling with Jesus channel, a channel of Holy Gospel readings available in three languages, Indonesia, English, and Italian. Now you can access the reading in Indonesia and English separately every day and the readings in Italian available only on Sunday. We hope you enjoy it. Saints of the Day for September 29th Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael story Angels, messengers from God, appear frequently in Scripture, but only Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael are named. Michael appears in Daniel's vision as the great prince who defends Israel against his enemies. In the book of the Revelation, he leads God's armies to final victory over the forces of evil. Devotion to Michael is the oldest angelic devotion, rising in the East in the 4th century. The church in the West began to observe a feast honoring Michael and the angels in the 5th century. Gabriel also makes an appearance in Daniel's visions announcing Michael's role in God's plan. His best-known appearance is an encounter with a young Jewish girl named Mary who consents to bear the Messiah. Raphael's activity is confined to the Old Testament story of Tobit. There he appears to guide Tobit's son Tobiah through a series of fantastic adventures which lead to a threefold happy ending. Tobias' marriage to Sarah, the healing of Tobit's blindness, and the restoration of the family fortune. The memorials of Gabriel and Raphael were added to the Roman calendar in 1921. The 1970 revision of the calendar joined their individual feats to Michael's. Reflection Each of the archangels performs a different mission in scripture. Michael protects, Gabriel announces, Raphael guides. Earlier believed that inexplicable events were due to the actions of spiritual beings has given way to a scientific worldview and a different sense of cause and effect. Yet believers still experience God's protection, communication, and guidance in ways which defy description. We cannot dismiss angels too lightly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, console me, tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Amen. Oh. 
or first reading, a reading from the Catholic Letters Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angel fought back, but they did not prevail, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The youth dragon, the ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalms with Respond In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels I will sing your praises, Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Bless the Lord. All you angels, you ministers who do His will. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to John Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is the true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Official Weary Traveling with Jesus is collaborating with international community of DOGCC located in Canberra, Australia to include the formation teaching into the reading. The formation teaching is taken from Catholic Catechism that may inspire you and strengthen you in your daily life. Also serve as a continuous reflections that may deepen our understanding on reading and also the Holy Gospel. 
Hi everybody, today we're going to speak about love and honour, the call to love and honour one another in community. And then another way of loving one another in community is through modesty. And this isn't just about dress, it's the way we speak, the way we behave and possibly the way we dress. And it's about it's about honouring the state of life or the life calling of others. So if we go back to Thomas Aquinas's um, definition that loving is seeking the good of the other then if we are behaving towards another person in a way um, that's designed to draw their attention to us but we have no interest in any sort of exclusive commitment to them or if they're already in a committed relationship or a committed state of life then flirting with that person isn't seeking their good it's not helping them in their life calling it's not helping me in mine um, even just things like engaging in an inappropriate level of intimate conversation with someone that I don't have any um, interest in being in an exclusive relationship with can just create an unhelpful attachment that's just it's not helping them in their state of life. It's not helping me. So we just want to be mindful and thoughtful of um, and honouring of um, the calling, the unique calling that everybody has in God and to think, am I helping this person discover their calling, their path, um, in life and encouraging them in that okay so just to wrap up um, we, we made three main points one is that love is our vocation as human beings it's written into us as human beings and as Christians we have a particular responsibility because Jesus commanded us to love as he loved and because he wants the world to know that he's real because they can look at us and see our relationships and know that there must be a God because look at how they love one another. And that's a real thing and I'd love to give you some testimonies but this is not the place for a testimony. Um, love is seeking the good of the other person. So that's a great rule of thumb if you're trying to think, am I being loving to this person? Am I really concerned about their flourishing, about their getting on in a, in a good way in their life? Or am I thinking stingy, nasty, cranky thoughts about them? And just to remind ourselves that community, because we enter into intentional level of relationship with each other, is an awesome opportunity and an awesome place to learn how to love. That's why we join community really, is to learn how to love, how to love God better, how to love each other better, even how to love ourselves better. So... This was a talk about loving and honouring in community and it's um, tying in with what we say in our covenant which is that we agree to love, care for and serve our brothers and sisters with a committed, steadfast love which seeks the best for them. Voce di Maria, dentro l'anima mia, come un balsamo scende sulle ferite e le porte. Prayer to Mother Mary for the end of the pandemic. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, in the present tragic situation when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety. We fly to you, Mother of God, and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes towards us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who in order to prevent the spread of the disease cannot be close to them. Fill with hope 
those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and employment. Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may done anew. Plead with your Divine Son, as you did at Cana, so that the families of the sea and the victims be comforted, and their hearts be opened to confidence and trust. In the present tragic situation, when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of God, and our mother and seek refuge under your protection protect those doctors nurses health workers and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity, and continued health. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, and to priests who, in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel, are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, Illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research that they may find effective solution to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity, they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by far-sightedness and solidarity. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes towards us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died. Mary, most holy, stir our consciences so that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms will instead be spent on promoting effective research on how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Beloved Mother, Help us realize that we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us so that in a spirit of fraternity and solidarity, we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith persevering in service, constant in prayer. Mary, consolations of the afflicted, embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic so that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope, do with and trust ourselves. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Amen. Through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and the prayers of Our Lady, 
we will all be freed from the curse, filled with joy, love, and receive the blessings of Abraham, which God blessed in all things. Exaltation, healed, the ability to endure suffering and still bear fruit, prosperity, victory, humility, and favor of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. If you have an adventure with Jesus, please send to our team your audio, video, or lettering on email we are traveling with Jesus at gmail.com. Thank you. Dear brothers and sisters, those are the readings for today. We hope you enjoy it and see you again tomorrow from We Live Traveling with Jesus. Goodbye.